You are watching Trends. Every Thursday, we take a peek at the future to see what's ahead of us. What's happening to art in the age of the internet? Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. We are sure many of you love art and try to appreciate and consume it in your daily life in different ways. So in today's video, we're trying to explore how art is changing with the rise of the internet and social media, and try to explore all the opportunities this new age artistic landscape brings to us all. Introduction Hey Luxers, do you remember the last time you walked into a museum for an art exhibition? Well, we're sure the age of social media and Google has not just changed our definition of art, but also the way we consume it. Unlike timeless, renowned artists like Pablo Picasso or Michelangelo, most artists today have their own Instagram pages and have embraced technology not just to monetize their art, but also to create it. It's not only the tools, techniques, and materials in the making of an artistic object that have changed with the advent of technology, but also the way we create, experience, and consume art that has changed with the rise of the internet. In 2018, the online art market was valued at 4.64 billion US dollars, and it's estimated that by 2024, the worldwide internet art market will be worth 9.32 billion US dollars. With those figures on the table, one could guess that in the age of the internet, art objects have become digitally informed social objects. And not just the artists, but all of us are a part of this new age art movement. So let's take a closer look at this new global phenomenon. Internet art. Never heard that term before? No worries, Aluxers, we got you covered. By this time, you must have gotten a hint that the internet has changed the way we see, buy, exchange, or advertise art objects. But do you know that it has also created a new art form? Net art. The memes you enjoy on your Instagram apps, the captchas and Tumblr gifs you create are all a part of internet art. The term net art refers to art objects like sculptures, paintings, designs, and other interactive experiences that are spread using the internet. The art as we know worldwide is an expression of life typically in a visual form like paintings or photographs, even sculptures or carvings. Artists have always been famous for depicting the global phenomenon and peculiarities of the period or place they live in through their art. At present, we're living in the most exciting times in a post-internet world, and no wonder the new age artists are embracing the same technology and depicting it in every way possible through their art forms. Now, let us try to understand who these artists are and what they're trying to do in their pursuit of internet art. Artists in the Internet Era as we mentioned earlier, there are numerous artists worldwide who are using the internet as a medium for spreading their art, and all of them are doing some kind of trailblazing. But there is one artist who has literally transformed the internet into his own art gallery. His name is Raphael Rosendahl, and he truly believes the internet is his stage and loves the idea of owning his art while simultaneously sharing and monetizing it online. Raphael has created numerous art objects in the form of domains on the internet and has also been successful in selling them and renaming the domain title after the collector's name with the condition of keeping it public. One of his famous internet art forms is Jello, which can be moved in any direction just by clicking a mouse. Amusing, right? Well, Aluxers, you might also be amazed to know that just like art, the way of exhibiting it has also changed with the internet era. Many artists in Europe participate in BYOB exhibits, which stands for Bring Your Own Beamer. In these exhibits, the artists bring their own digital screens or projectors and display their art out on the streets or walls of buildings. Even Google Street View has been used by these new age artists as a medium to showcase their art. Moving forward in the post-internet art, artists like Shahzad Dawood are also using virtual reality as a medium to present their art forms. Shahzad has created a virtual reality installation of a West Bengali town Kalimpong, situated amidst the Himalayan mountains. This VR installation has been featured in various art galleries around the world and is a classic example of creating human and digital interaction through art objects. 
And on that note, Aluxers, we know you guys love to explore, and there are several art galleries worldwide which are dedicated for digital and post-internet art. And we bet you'd be delighted to visit them while exploring various parts of the world. And as always, we're sure you want to stay connected while you capture these digital art forms in your lenses. And that's why we recommend using a VPN. It's a super easy to use piece of software that protects your data online so the government or other companies can't spy on you and you can enjoy the internet you know and love. We joined up with the great folks at NordVPN to bring you an amazing offer. If you go to alux.com slash VPN and sign up using the code ALUX, you'll get 75% off a three-year plan and a full month for free to see if you find it valuable. Protect yourself online today by going to alux.com slash VPN. Artists, their art, and social media. All of us use social media to connect with people related to our field and to promote our work. Artists are no exception to this. Well, in the age of Instagram, a lot of us think we're artists. But we know you Aluxers are smart enough to figure out the difference between a professional and a rookie. Apart from Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, there are also several social media sites like DeviantArt, which are dedicated to artists and enthusiasts so they can create their portfolios, share their artwork, and develop their community online. These sites are helping blooming artists to stay connected to the latest trends and advancements in the field of art and also be inspired by the established professionals. Many of these sites also offer courses for beginners and enthusiasts to hone their multimedia and graphic skills. Copyrights for Internet Art the biggest threat for an artist is always the infringement of their copyright, and in the world of the internet and other digital devices, this threat becomes even more obvious. There are numerous websites which sell replicas, morphed forms of famous paintings and other art objects online, and the naive customers fall prey to these traps. Now, even though individual artists cannot stop such black market art sales, they can definitely make sure that their art, even though in digital form, is copyrighted and protected by laws of their land. The majority of countries have electronic copyright registration sites where artists can register their artwork online. Even though artists are not allowed to copyright their style, they are allowed to copyright a number of artworks under their unique style. This helps them to safeguard their art from imitations, replication, and recreation on a mass scale. It's at the artist's discretion to decide which of their artworks needs to be copyrighted, since not all artworks have the same value or are easily replicable. So Aluxers, the next time you Google search a Mona Lisa, we're sure you're wise enough to understand that out of most of those multiple paintings that pop up on your screen, none of them is the original painting from the Louvre Museum. Challenges and Threats In today's world with the rise of technology, smartphones, and social media applications like Instagram, the boundary between the professional artists and the hobbyists is increasingly thinning. We're sure many of you are using graphic software like CAD and Photoshop at work in your personal life for modifying or recreating your own work or someone else's. Today, many professional artists use Photoshop, and sculptors are using modeling software. These technological advancements are aiding both professionals and hobbyists in their pursuit of art, but they are definitely changing the perception of an educated viewer. Many artists constantly fear their art being replicated, morphed, diminished, and sold online. Even though there are countries with strict copyright laws that protect the originality of the creators, the threat of misuse cannot be neglected. Artists today also face a unique challenge of monitoring the usage of smartphones and other advanced devices at their exhibits to protect their authenticity without compromising on the publicity and overall experience of the audience. Conclusion Experiencing or possessing creative art objects has always traditionally been perceived as a privilege of the rich, but the medium of the internet has made it accessible for everyone without any divide. Now, given the fact that the artists are taking efforts of adopting technology while preserving their skillful art forms in the age of instant gratification, it is also our responsibility to value their efforts as viewers or buyers. We understand that not all of us are in a position or willing to pay a handsome amount for a fine piece of art, but we do have a responsibility to appreciate it by becoming a conscious viewer. Question. 
Well, Alexers, before we wrap this up, we'd like to know, what do you think about the art and artists in today's world? Are you one of those interesting people who practice or aspire to practice art as a living? Do you believe that the entire way of experiencing art has diminished in today's internet-friendly world? Or are you overwhelmed with the digital landscape? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Japan is known for being a perfect blend of technology and heritage, and it's no wonder that the world's first digital art museum was started in Tokyo in June 2018. Spread across 10,000 square meters, the Colossal, officially known as Mori Building Digital Art Museum, hosts a number of interactive art exhibits that diminish the boundary between the visitor and the art object through the digital medium. We're betting you Aluxers would love to indulge yourself in this unique art experience the next time you pay a visit to Japan. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos for you to watch next. As always, the conversation continues on social media. Thanks again, and we can't wait to have you back tomorrow.